Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about my Pokemon Sword and Shield anime hopes and predictions. So I hope you enjoy. Let me know what you think is going to happen in the new Pokemon anime series. First of all, I think Ash's journey will differ depending on if he wins the Alola League or not. My predictions at the minute are that he will defeat Gladion in the final and then lose to Professor Kakui in the exhibition match, which will still make Ash the new champion of Alola. It's going to be interesting to see what event occurs to make Ash actually leave Alola. Unlike other regions, Ash has always strived for the goal of winning the Pokemon League, but in Alola he's just kind of relaxing and going to school with his pals. It would be cool to see Ash and his class take another field trip to Kanto at the end of the series. This is where Ash will meet up with his old friends, most likely Brock and Misty will be there, and obviously Professor Oak and his mum as well. I want Gary Oak to finally make his return. He hasn't appeared since the Sinnoh region and I miss him. He was one of my favourite characters from the original series. Gary will tell Ash about the Galar region, much like he did with Sinnoh and sort of Johto. It'll be cool to see Ash and Gary have a battle again. Ash uses his Meltan maybe to show it to Gary, and Gary uses a new Galar Pokemon. I think, different to other times this has happened, I would have Ash win this battle. Ash beating Gary would really show how far he's come after winning the Alola League. After this battle, Gary would explain to Ash about the Galar region, and then the two would head there together, while Ash's old classmates would all head back to Alola. Another option maybe would be to take Lily along with Ash to the Galar region. I think it all depends on what happens in the Sword and Shield games and if she's in them or not. I think this would be a really good way of introducing a new region. It's similar to what they've done in the past but Ash can be told about the Galar region's Pokemon League and how it's slightly different to other regions and all the gyms are giant football stadium which makes Ash more excited to explore the region despite him being a champion of another region. Ash would of course set off for the new region with Pikachu and I'd also take his Meltan. If it doesn't evolve in Sun and Moon, I think Meltan has a big part to play in the Sword and Shield games, it seems, so it makes sense to bring it along with Ash and have it evolve down the line. Gary is also coming along because why not? Gary can show Ash the first town or city, similar to how Alexa did when she accompanied him to Kalos, and then after Gary will leave Ash and Ash will find his companions, but we'll still bump into Gary throughout the region because why not? It's custom for Ash to travel alongside a gym leader, so it won't be any different here. From the leaders we've been introduced so far, none of them really stand out to me to be one of Ash's companions. I think most likely it would be Nessa. She could be really interesting, water-type trainer companion, just like Misty was. But I don't think it will be Nessa. I think it will be someone who we haven't seen just yet, or could possibly be the main female playable character who we don't know the name of yet. Also, I'd like to go back to just three traveling companions again. It makes it a bit more simple, other than Alola when there was five. Uh, we would have another male companion, which could be another gym leader, but it, it could also be a rival, maybe someone like Hop. Hop seems a bit more likely than the other rival that was introduced, Bede. Or they could just bring our boy Brock back along for another region. So once the three set out on their journey, it will be similar to most of the regions. Ash will travel across the region, collecting gym badges, powering up his team. At the moment it's hard to say what his team will be, but there are a few early predictions. He will have Pikachu of course. His second spot would be Meltan, which will evolve into Melmetal at some point. I think he could get a Corviknight, it's unknown if this is the regional bird yet, but I could see Ash using one. Um, although Alola, he didn't actually capture the regional bird, I think it was the first time ever that he didn't. I think, much like other regions, Ash could have two starters. I think they'd be Sobble and Grookey, I think both of them fit his personality more than Squirbunny. One of the other companions would obtain a score bunny, which is obviously similar to other regions as well. This would have Ash up to a 5 uh, Pokemon team already. I don't think any of the Pokemon revealed at the minute suit Ash, so we'd have to wait for more to be revealed before guessing. Something I'd love to see is Ash rotating his Pokemon again, similar to Black and White, but actually done right this time. Not as many Pokemon as Black and White, maybe he'll have 6 to 9 around that sort of number. It'd be great to see him obtain all sorts of different regional Galar Pokemon, maybe even a Galarian form. We got a Galarian Zigzagoon revealed to us recently, which is awesome, so I can see Ash getting some kind of Galarian form, but I don't know what others there might be. And a side note, it'd be amazing to see James from Team Rocket get a Galarian Weezing, throw back to his old Weezing, but that's all for Ash's team for now. And speaking of Team Rocket, they'll of course follow Ash to the end of the earth, Nothing is different with Galar, they will still get in his way and try to steal Pikachu. It would be very cool if Beware went with them to Galar, it's basically another member of Team Rocket at this point. Also, I can see Rotom decks travelling with Ash. 
which I'm okay with, I'm not the biggest fan of it, it can be annoying at times, but it's nice to see things cross over from different regions, and the fact you get a Rotom phone in Sword and Shield, and there are many Rotom aspects, such as the bike, the PC, and the cameras, makes a high chance of the Rotom decks coming along with Ash. What I really want is another rival, just like Paul from Sinnoh, someone who gets a lot of character development, appears in 40 plus episodes, has multiple battles with Ash, this could possibly be one of the two characters we got shown recently, being Marnie or BD. I think BD could be Ash's main rival who pushes him and is a bit more aggressive with him, Like, while Marnie is linked to Team Yell, much like Guzma is linked to Team Skull. Overall, I just really can't wait for this series to begin. I really enjoyed the more peaceful, laid-back vibe of Sun and Moon, but I want to get back to the seriousness and the XY kind of vibe, with Ash being a lot more powerful and focusing on battle a lot more being one of the strongest trainers in the region. Imagine after all this time for waiting for Ash to win a league, he goes and wins back to back Alola and Galar leagues. I think this would be perfect end to his character, Ash winning back to back leagues and then retiring his character back to open a gym in Kanzo or something. But I can't wait for this to start, I'm looking forward to what's to come for him. It's going to be interesting to see how they handle this series, but please let me know what you think is going to happen, what you hope will happen, any recurring characters you think they'll bring back, maybe Paul or Serena. But thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, please like, subscribe if you did, and see you next time.